Hello, <coughs> a very good morning to you all from Ashish Sen Gupta. What a day, what a morning. Torrential rain, though it has turned to a steady drizzle now. Heavy downpour, gusty winds. It was all there just 15 minutes back. So anyways, a beautiful rain, 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 drenched morning, guys. Have a look at the sky. Though my camcorder is not waterproof, but it's worth the ri worth the risk. The sky is overcast. See the beautiful greenery around me. I'm at the topmost part of my terrace. Technically, this is the fourth floor. There are two floors to my building and a half floor <coughs> rather attached to the terrace and one two flights of stairs above the terrace is this portion. A small garden we have out here made by my dad. He's fond of these. He also has a business of nursery. I know for some people this is a bad bad morning they have to go to their offices their business shops professions whatever it might be but for me hey it's a beautiful lazy leisurely morning since all my work is based at home right now after I sold the shop and we Kolkatans are quite used to monsoon mornings but this is different. Today is the 18th of December, bang in the middle of winter in Kolkata. I'll just wipe my lens and hardly we get so much rain, so much downpour <coughs> during the winters. It's chilling, it's breezy, you feel the rain caresses you, it cajoles you, it hugs you. Oh, I wish I had enough words in my vocabulary to describe how I feel. I'm, I'm totally and completely at a loss of words to express myself just look at the glossy leaves the droplets of water falling from them softly slowly I'm getting drenched there's lush greenery of different views far away you see those trees they have a shade of dark green right across me right across the house is a beautiful light green plumage or cluster of leaves there you see the coconut trees far away solidly so has so much greenery and even further away if i zoom it to the maximum around 300 meters away we have what we know as a talgach palm trees and there is the most famous building of Salt Lake, the West Bengal State Electricity Board. I could have shown you the television, the telephone tower, the tallest structure in Salt Lake. But that is too misty and cloudy to be caught by the camera now. And I am putting my camcorder at a great risk by standing exposed in the rain. And guys, the best thing is I can smell the factory too. That is the smell of the fresh mud after the first few showers. Though it rained the entire night, the factory smell persists and does so strongly. It kind of teleports you, mentally transports you to the green lush villages of Bengal. You get a mental picture. 
though we do not have the extensive rice fields, the greenery fields around us, but you can get a sense since Salt Lake is what do you say synonymous with greenery and the cold is getting what do you say increasing by the seconds the pitter patter raindrops on these asbestos covering the terrace portion they sound awesome at night in the night everything is still and you can distinguish each and every sound the sound of the rain, the sound of the pigeons jumping, the sound of rockies growling. And note, one thing which I am scared of during the rain is the thunder and lightning and there seems to be nothing of that sort right now. Just have a look, that's the terrace across me, it's glistening. What a morning. How are you guys from Nagore and Bharat Varsha? I hope everything is well. The syntax tanks far. I have a very powerful zoom. It's 59x optical zoom and 90x in intelligent zoom. But right now, I can't show much of it. The rain seems to be increasing and I'm feeling chilly, chilly. Is Cherapunji like this? Rain all the year round. No traces of birds in the sky. You see the skies overcast. Wonderful. Romancing with the rain has been a passion for me since childhood. Okay guys, now it's time to get down. And we'll be back later. Bye-bye.